Welcome to Personal Branding for Ladies. Today we present uh, Personal Branding for Ladies and uh, to make the best out of a lady so that you can outdo your competitors. It can be your competitors in business, it can be your competitors in relationship, it can be competitors at a place of work or in daily life. How does a lady outdo uh, the competitors in all the spheres of life? And you can only do this by effective branding. If it is your first time or you have not subscribed before, kindly subscribe and let us grow together. Let us dig deep into this video. Now we are going to look at very important three questions. Number one is uh, what is personal branding? And then number two, uh, why should you brand? And then number three, um, how do you brand or rebrand? There are some who have carried one brand and they want to do another brand at a later stage or in a new phase of life, in a new situation, in a new relationship, they want to brand. Now branding, if we answer the first question, is a set of skills, okay? A combination of skills and experiences that make you who you are. Let's talk about uh, people who are excellent on, on social media, the ones we call uh, social media or brand influencers. These ladies or gentlemen who will pick uh, a, an image and they put it out there and before you know it, everyone is going for that product that they have posted. How do they brand themselves? If you, tr if you look at them, majority of those people, if it is a lady, they have excellent makeup, okay? Now, in branding ourselves, we can do it physically by, by our looks, by the way we dress, by the way, uh, you know, the kind of shoes you, you wear, the kind of clothes, the dresses that you wear, the, you know, the bag that you, you carry, the places that you go to, all those, they, they contribute to the outer branding, the manner in which you speak. Now, a person who uh, wants to brand, you don't only brand the, the outside, you also brand the inner, the inner person, and that is you. Remember, we say that branding is a set of skills that define who you are. Now, if you have been defined wrongly, you see, people look at you and they think you're lazy. That is the brand you're carrying. Now, you want to rebrand yourself as a hardworking person, all right? And so, what you dress up in and the inner branding, the perception of yourself, what do you think about yourself? are going to be very key in setting up your brand. Okay, I was giving you an example of the ladies who influence brands on Instagram, on Facebook, and they do it so effectively, and uh, they earn so much from it, and they earn respect in society. What do they do? Their dressing is different. Of course, they put that brand out there that they are smart, they are intelligent, their discussions are, are excellent, every person wants to follow them because everything they write is going to be, you know, taken as gospel truth. Many people look at them. That is the brand they have created. Everyone wants to look as smart as they are. They hold the most expensive phones. You know, they can stay hungry, but they hold the most expensive phone to be able to make money by that kind of brand. And so people will come and give them the business so that they can, they can, they keep increasing in business the more they brand. Some of them will even drive expensive cars. Uh, you know, they will be choking on loans as initial as they start. But as time goes on, they will make this money because they have created a brand that sells. I know some of you know one person uh, here in Uganda who was transported from a different country in South Africa to come here and sell our tourism. Why did they have to bring that person in this place? They had to bring her because she has created a brand, a brand that everyone wants to be like her, dress like her, walk like her, go to the places that she goes. And so 
Branding yourself makes you uh, an influencer in society. Now let's talk about relationship branding. We have uh, ladies, uh, you forgive me if you fall into this category, I didn't mean to, to point you out, but we have ladies who have really branded themselves as to whoever it may concern. You know the, the body grows and, and, and the fat comes and it is too much and the stomach is there, the breasts are, are, are falling down, they don't wear the bras, there is no waistline, the hair they don't comb. If they wear a wig, they don't even do any treatment to it, it starts to stink. And so the husbands in the home look at them with so much disgust. And guess what they do? They have this brand of who they wanted their woman to be. They wanted a, a lady who is smart, maybe is curvy, the waistline can be seen, someone who washes their face and can put on makeup, or if your hair is short like mine, you can comb it and, and make sure that it is attractive. You work on your skin, your scent is good. You brand yourself as a lady that is desirable in that relationship. Maybe there are so many other ladies. You keep seeing your husband and you're not getting attracted to the slender girls. Your brand is not sailing in that relationship. And so the reason you need to rebrand, this will, may include uh, reducing on your weight, okay? Reducing on your weight, changing the clothes that you wear, changing the places uh, you, you, you visit, Changing the way you move around the house, the brand. What is that brand that sells in a relationship? Is it that you sit and sit on a plate of food and eat food for three people, and then you dress up in clothes that are oversized, and then you hold bags that you know they are too big, you carry in a bottle, you carry in a kettle, you even carry a flask in a handbag. That brand does not sell in a relationship. And so if you're going to be a relationship, a brand in a relationship, something that is attractive, you have to have the skills, you know, know how to talk. Your spouse must look at you as a gentle person, as someone very fun to hang around, someone very interesting to start a conversation with, not the shouting one. If you shout, you'll be a scary brand. If you're gentle, uh, romantic, attractive, you will attract positivity. So how do we brand ourselves? One, know what you want to be, okay? Know what you want to be. Do you want to be, uh, uh, do you want to be a, a, a professional uh, lady, the one who comes in the home? Uh, you're good looking, you're dressed very well, you are gentle with your people, uh, you, you know you have workers in the house and, and they can do the work that you want, brand yourself like that. If your husband wants you to be the house lady, the one who goes in the kitchen and cook, you still can do it with a lot of dignity. Brand yourself as the housewife. How does the housewife dress? They dress decently, they dress in their fitting clothes, but comfortable. They know how to relate with everyone in the house, the maids, the children, and the husband, and they keep the home good. And so that is the brand of a housewife. If you're branding yourself as a lady for work, don't get people to make mistakes about you. You can brand yourself professionally, dress professionally, go into that office with your head high, into that office with your head high. Talk like a professional. Have the skills that are necessary. If you do not have those skills, the relevant skills, and you want to buy your way around by conniving with people here and there to cover up for your weaknesses, then you have lost a brand of a corporate. Eventually, they will look at you as a slay queen, as someone who climbs the ladders by laying, you know, by, by having their they are back on the, on, on the mattress. And that is not a brand you want to create. Some people have created that brand, but it can only last a short while. Brand yourself professionally, 
brand yourself as a, a cute lady, brand yourself as that homestay mom, the parent, the decent wife, but your brand can still attract positivity. It can still attract corporate relationships, romantic relationships. It can still attract community relationship. It depends on how to present yourself. We will have a second part of this uh, discussion. And uh, if you have questions, please put them through on the comment section and we'll be able to answer them. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe once again. God bless you. See you next time.